How to live authentically and embrace your true self. Have you ever stopped to think if you're just surviving day by day, following a script written by others, or if you're the true author of your own story? Today, let's embark on an exceptional journey, not just to navigate, but to flourish in this tumultuous world. In a universe saturated with prescriptions about who to be, what to appreciate and how to live, it becomes revolutionary to question, what does it really mean to live genuinely for oneself? Observation number one, questioning external control. How about considering for a moment, are we truly living the life we desire or just following the scripts outlined by others? The question is intriguing, isn't it? It invites us to reflect on our autonomy and protagonism in our own life story. Are we really taking the reins of our existences or letting external conventions and expectations dictate our chapters? Consider this idea. Every decision we make, every path we choose to follow, could be a genuine expression of our deepest desires and our most deeply rooted values. Imagine how transformative it would be to realize that every step taken is a stanza that you yourself composed in your great personal epic. Have you ever found yourself, for example, performing a task or pursuing a career that doesn't truly resonate with what you aspire for your life? This is a common reality, but I want to encourage you to question and challenge the status quo. This is where self-analysis becomes a powerful tool. Ask yourself, are these choices really mine or am I just playing a role expected by others? In this moment of introspection, reflect on the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus. We are not disturbed by things, but by the view we take of them. This reminds us that our power does not lie in the circumstances we face but in how we interpret and respond to those circumstances. And if you find that much of your life has been written by others' hands, know that it is never too late to pick up the pen and start writing your own chapters. Do not underestimate the power of redefining the course of your story. It may seem daunting at first, but it is also extraordinarily liberating. The first step can be small, like a simple change in your daily routine or a conscious decision about how you spend your free time. Each small change is a stroke of ink on the blank page of your life. I encourage you to think about this. What changes can you start today that would more authentically reflect who you are and who you want to be? Take an active part in writing a story that in the end you will be proud to call your own. So, are you ready to pick up that pen? Number two, social influences and pressures. Have you ever noticed how we're constantly bombarded with messages about who we should be and how we should live? Whether it's through social media, advertising, or even the expectations of friends and family, it seems like there's always a new norm to follow or an ideal to strive for. But here's a question for you to ponder. Are these pressures really helping you live more fully and authentically? The truth is, these influences can be extremely powerful, shaping our perceptions and behaviors in ways we don't always realize. However, living authentically means having the courage to deviate from these norms when they don't serve our true interests or values. Marco Aurelius, the emperor and stoic philosopher, reminds us that it is ridiculous not to try to avoid one's own evil, which is possible to avoid, but to try to avoid the evil of others, which is impossible. This urges us to focus our efforts on perfecting our own character rather than conforming to external expectations. Imagine what it would be like if you decided to live on your own terms, valuing your unique passions and respecting your personal rhythms. This is not just a form of authenticity, but also an act of resistance against the standardization of human experiences. Let's consider a practical example. Think of someone who has chosen a career that is less socially prestigious, but brings them immense personal satisfaction. 
This person may face questioning or even criticism, but true fulfillment comes from knowing they are following their true calling, isn't it? It's essential for each of us to give ourselves permission to explore and express who we really are without the weight of others' expectations. This doesn't mean completely ignoring what others think, but rather weighing those opinions and consciously deciding to what extent they align with our values and aspirations. So how about starting to question more frequently? Does this really resonate with me or am I just trying to fit in? Every time you ask this question, you're taking a step towards a more authentic and fulfilling life. And I ask you, isn't that the journey we all want to embark on? Three, Friedrich Nietzsche's philosophy and Stoicism. By exploring Friedrich Nietzsche's philosophy and the principles of Stoicism, we discover valuable allies in the journey of self-discovery and authenticity. Both philosophies, though distinct, offer profound insights into how to create our own path, trust our inner voice, and find the courage to live according to our deepest values. Nietzsche, with his exhortation to become who we truly are, encourages a profound exploration of the self. He challenges us to question established norms and to transcend the herd of conformity. Picture yourself embracing Nietzsche's idea that life is a work of art, where you are both the creator and the creation. Think about it. How could you begin to shape your life as a unique expression of your true essence? On the other hand, Stoicism teaches us to accept what we cannot change and to focus our energies on what is under our control. Stoics believe in the importance of living in harmony with nature, which includes our own nature. They encourage us to develop virtues such as wisdom, justice, courage and moderation. Consider how these teachings can be applied in practice. For example, when facing challenges or criticism, a Stoic would seek to understand what is under their control and would let go of excessive concerns about others' opinions. This not only reduces stress, but also allows for greater focus on following a path aligned with personal values. By integrating these philosophies, we can learn to trust more in our own voice. Instead of seeking external approval, we could ask ourselves, is this in harmony with what I value? Does this contribute to the kind of person I want to be? This shift in perspective is an invitation to a more deliberate and meaningful life. Therefore, by combining Nietzsche's boldness to reject the common and stoic wisdom to focus on the essential, you may discover a powerful way to navigate life. So are you ready to accept this challenge and start living in a way that truly resonates with your authentic self? 4. Challenging the status quo Challenging the status quo isn't just about going against the grain for the sake of it. It's about provoking a deep examination of established norms and discovering a way of life that is genuinely more authentic for each of us. This challenge involves delving into philosophical ideas that not only question our daily routines, but also promise to transform our way of thinking and living. Imagine for a moment that you could look at society's unwritten rules with a critical eye. Why do we follow certain paths without questioning? What do we really gain by adhering to standards we haven't consciously chosen? These are incisive questions that, when considered, can open up new horizons of possibilities. Seneca, a philosopher who always challenged us to question and expand our horizons, reminds us, it's not because things are difficult that we dare not venture, it's because we dare not venture that they are difficult. This reflection propels us to confront the discomfort of challenging the conventional, underlining that it's our courage that turns challenges into possibilities. By bringing provocative ideas into our daily lives, we are prompted to reflect on what we truly value. For example, the notion of success is often tied to material accumulation and external recognition. But is that the only way to interpret success? What would happen if we started to value personal satisfaction 
spiritual growth, or positive impact on our community more. Moreover, considering philosophies like minimalism or the less is more principle can be an enlightening path. These ideas challenge us to simplify, to choose quality over quantity, and to redefine wealth in terms of experiences and relationships, not just material possessions. This challenge to the conventional also invites us to be agents of change. When we begin to live more in line with our authentic values, we also inspire others to explore less conventional paths. It's a virtuous cycle. By living authentically, we demonstrate that alternatives are possible and perhaps even more rewarding. Therefore, I encourage you to make these reflections and to ask yourself, how can I start today to challenge the status quo in a constructive way? What changes can I implement that will allow me to live more truthfully with myself and with others? This is the essence of a challenge that not only transforms individuals, but can also change the fabric of our society. How about embarking on this journey of discovery and transformation? Number five, authenticity versus conformity. The journey to align our actions with our deep beliefs and values is undoubtedly one of the noblest, but it can also be one of the most challenging. We live in a world that often prioritizes uniformity, pressuring us to conform to norms and standards often at odds with our deepest and most authentic feelings. Authenticity in this context becomes not just a personal choice, but an act of courage. Think about it. How often have you found yourself in situations where you felt the need to adjust your opinions or behaviors simply to fit in? And how often did this really reflect who you are and what you value? The truth is that living authentically requires us to face these moments of tension where authenticity seems to go against the tide of conformity. Marco Aurelius, one of the great emperors and Stoic philosophers, advises us, lose the ability to be hurt and the harm done to you will disappear. This advice can be interpreted as an encouragement to embrace our true nature, letting go of others' reactions and judgments that weigh heavily on our quest for authenticity. But why is it so essential that we align our actions with our values? The answer may lie in the deep satisfaction and peace of mind that accompany true living. When our actions reflect our beliefs, we experience an internal congruence that is both energizing and reassuring. This not only strengthens us, but also frees us from the exhaustion of trying to be something we're not. Now, consider the impact of this authenticity on the world around us. Every decision to act in accordance with our true values sends a powerful message to those around us. This can inspire others to also seek a more authentic path, creating a wave of change that challenges established norms. But how can we cultivate this authenticity? It begins with self-awareness. Invest time to truly know yourself, understand what you value and why. From there, it's possible to make more conscious choices that reflect these values. Whether it's distancing yourself from environments that suppress your true nature or choosing to surround yourself with people and experiences that nurture your authenticity. Faced with these reflections, I challenge you to ask yourself, am I living in a way that is true to myself? And what steps can I take today to live more authentically? By addressing these questions and deciding to act, you not only enrich your own life but also contribute to a world where authenticity is celebrated and conformity is not the only option. So, be inspired to live boldly with an authenticity that truly resonates with who you are. This is your life, your story. How will you choose to write it? Six, living according to reason. Stoic philosophy teaches us to value reason as a fundamental guide to a balanced and harmonious life. Living according to reason doesn't just mean acting logically or pragmatically. 
It's about a deep integration of our actions with our higher rational values, seeking an existence that respects the nature and order of the universe. The Stoics believed that each individual has the capacity to cultivate the wisdom and discernment necessary to form and trust their own opinions. By aligning ourselves with reason, we not only make clearer and more effective decisions, but also cultivate an internal resilience that allows us to face adversities and challenges with equanimity. Imagine the power of basing your decisions not on momentary impulses or fleeting emotions, but on thoughtful and rational reflection. This doesn't mean ignoring our emotions, but rather understanding and integrating them in a way that complements our reasoning. The ability to maintain this harmony between emotion and reason can be extremely liberating. Moreover, by living according to reason, we are encouraged to build and trust in our own opinions. This involves a continuous process of self-examination and learning, where we constantly question our assumptions and seek deeper understanding. This habit of questioning and reflection not only strengthens our intellectual autonomy, but also protects us against the unwanted influence of popular ideas or external pressures. Therefore, Stoic philosophy offers us a framework for living more deliberately and meaningfully. By adopting a rational approach to life, we can achieve not only greater peace of mind, but also a profound sense of purpose. Every decision made based on reason brings us closer to a truly good and virtuous life. And here's a question to reflect on. How can I begin to integrate reason more deeply into my daily decisions? This questioning may be the first step towards a journey of greater clarity, wisdom, and authenticity. I invite you to explore this path and discover how reason can serve as your most reliable compass. 7. Introspection and Self-Knowledge Introspection and self-knowledge are essential tools for those seeking to better understand their values and actions, allowing for a more aligned and authentic life. Delving into the depths of our own minds and hearts is not just an exercise in self-exploration. It's a vital process that empowers us to live more consciously and deliberately. Introspection is like a journey into oneself, where each discovered layer reveals more about who we are, what we value, and why we act as we do. This inner dive helps us identify not only our strengths, but also our limitations, limiting beliefs and behavior patterns that may be hindering us from reaching our full potential. Seneca, the wise Stoic, advises us, Know thyself, consider thy capacities. One must not trust to luck. This advice reinforces the importance of a deep understanding of our own resources and limitations. When we have clarity about who we are, our decisions become more grounded and less dependent on external circumstances. Why is it so crucial to understand these internal aspects? Because self-knowledge gives us the power of choice. When we understand our motives and values, we can make choices that truly resonate with our authentic selves. This means making decisions that are not only reactive to external circumstances, but proactive and based on a solid understanding of what we truly desire and need. Imagine, for example, facing an important decision about your career or personal relationships. With a clear understanding of your values and goals, you can choose the path that not only feels right, but is right for you, avoiding regret and dissatisfaction. Furthermore, introspection promotes greater empathy and understanding in interactions with others. By understanding our own complexities and challenges, we can be more patient and understanding of others' struggles. This not only improves our relationships, but also strengthens our connection to the community around us. Therefore, I encourage you to set aside regular time for reflection and self-examination. It may be through meditation, journal writing, or simply moments of quiet to think about the day. Every insight into yourself is a step towards a fuller and more meaningful life. And now, how about reflecting on this? 
Which aspects of your life deserve deeper investigation? What values do you want to guide your actions? This invitation to introspection is an opportunity to rediscover yourself and perhaps to reinvent yourself in ways you never imagined possible. 8. Role of Education and Knowledge Education and knowledge play fundamental roles in our lives, not only as tools for professional or social advancement, but as essential elements for a fulfilling and well-lived life. The continuous pursuit of knowledge not only enriches our understanding of the world, but also empowers us to make more informed decisions and to live in a more authentic and aligned way with our values. Let's consider for a moment the transformative power of education. It opens doors to new perspectives and ideas, challenging our preconceptions and expanding our understanding of the various facets of human life. Each new learning experience is a window that opens to new worlds, whether they are cultural, scientific, philosophical or artistic. Moreover, Knowledge empowers us to face life's challenges with greater competence and confidence. Think about how understanding basic principles of economics can help with your personal finances, or how knowledge in psychology can improve your interpersonal relationships. These are just some of the practical ways education can directly impact our everyday lives. However, learning is not limited to classrooms or textbooks. We live in an information age where knowledge is at our fingertips through the internet. This gives us an unprecedented opportunity to continuously learn, adapt our skills and expand our worldview without geographical or temporal limitations. But why is it so important to maintain this constant pursuit of knowledge? Because learning is fundamentally an act of personal growth. By challenging ourselves to learn new things, we are also challenging ourselves to grow, to change, and to evolve as individuals. This keeps us mentally agile and emotionally prepared to face the uncertainties and opportunities that life presents us. Therefore, I encourage you to see education not as a task to be completed, but as a continuous and enriching journey. There is always something new to learn, always a skill to develop, always an idea that can transform the way you see the world. Now, reflect on this. Which areas of knowledge would you like to explore further? How can you incorporate continuous learning into your daily routine? This is an invitation for you to embark on a journey of discovery that will undoubtedly enrich every aspect of your life. And so, are you ready to learn something new today? Nine. Calculated risks and personal growth. Living dangerously in the context of making conscious decisions involving calculated risks can be a powerful tool for personal growth and discovering a more authentic and meaningful life. We're not talking about recklessness, but a deliberate approach to facing challenges that take us out of our comfort zone and propel us towards new possibilities. The idea of taking calculated risks is inherently linked to personal development. When we choose to confront the unknown, whether by changing careers, starting a new relationship, or even moving to a new place, we are not only testing our limits, but also paving the way for experiences that can define and refine who we are. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the life of a man is what his thoughts make of it. This stoic thought encourages us to realize that our reality is shaped by our perceptions and decisions. By choosing to confront challenges, we are actively shaping the fabric of our own life, making it a narrative of growth and self-discovery. These decisions, although fraught with uncertainties, are essential because they bring with them the opportunity for learning and evolution that the safety of routine often cannot offer. Think about it. How many times have you looked back and realized that the most formative and enriching moments of your life were also the most challenging? By taking calculated risks, we are also practicing authenticity. We are aligning our actions with our true desires and aspirations rather than simply following the path imposed on us by conventions or others' expectations. 
This may mean choosing a less traveled path, but one that resonates deeply with our values and dreams. Furthermore, facing risks teaches us to deal with failure and uncertainty in a healthier way. Every attempt, whether successful or not, is a valuable lesson. We develop resilience and learn to adapt, skills that are crucial in all aspects of life. Now I encourage you to consider, what risks have you been avoiding out of fear of the unknown or failure? And more importantly, what growth or discoveries might you be missing out on by not venturing beyond your comfort zone? So how about taking a step forward and facing a new challenge today? Remember, it's not about seeking danger, but embracing opportunities that, although risky, can lead to significant growth and a more authentic and fulfilling life. This is the true essence of living dangerously, living fully. 10. Search for personal meaning. When reflecting on the search for personal meaning, it's essential to consider how our choices, aligned with our deepest values, shape a life filled with purpose and satisfaction. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, reminds us, do not waste the rest of your life thinking about other people unless you are referring to some common aspect of all. Otherwise, you dissipate the time that should be destined for greater tasks. Finding meaning in life goes beyond achieving personal goals. It also involves active participation in the community and contributions to the common good, a practice that enriches both ourselves and those around us. Personal meaning arises when we integrate our passions and talents with the needs of the world around us. Each of us has something unique to offer, and by discovering and utilizing these gifts in service to others, we find a profound satisfaction that surpasses any material success or external recognition. Imagine how your community could benefit from your active participation, whether through volunteering, leading local initiatives, or simply sharing knowledge and skills with those in need. Furthermore, community involvement provides us with a sense of connection and belonging, vital elements for a meaningful life. We are all interconnected, and when we recognize this connection, we realize that our contribution can have a positive impact far beyond our immediate circle. However, to truly live a meaningful life, it's crucial that we continue to reflect on our values and be willing to adjust our trajectories as necessary. Life is dynamic, and what brings us meaning today may not be the same tomorrow. Therefore, maintaining a regular practice of self-reflection helps us stay aligned with what we truly value and wish to accomplish. I conclude by inviting you to ask yourself, what are the values that guide my life? How can I further align my actions with these values? And how can I contribute meaningfully to my community, strengthening the social fabric that binds us? The search for meaning is a continuous journey, a constant exploration that challenges us to live not only for ourselves, but for the world around us. What will be the first step you take today to reclaim your authenticity and write your own story? Leave your thoughts in the comments. See you soon.